Hello everybody, I welcome you to this video tutorial on how to conduct the study selection process within Kadima. Um, what you already did so far is that you have uploaded your search results, um, you have specified the question type, etc. And you um, checked for duplicates and uh, in case they have been identified, you have removed them. And uh, now the question is how do you select those records that are relevant to answer your, your radio question? So within Kadima, um, different selection criteria can be applied for title abstract and full text screening. And Kadima also allows you to specify keywords that should be highlighted throughout the screening process. In order to specify those keywords, go to the keyword tab and click on add keyword. Then you can insert the keyword. You can also insert multiple keywords to be highlighted in the same color just by separating them with a semicolon decide on the color it should be highlighted, define where it should be highlighted, so in our case in title abstracts and full text. Uh, we specify another one, might be no, that should be highlighted in a different color, maybe in, in red, also for title abstracts and full text. Right, so now coming back to the selection per se. So um, in order to perform the study selection, now a title abstract stage, you first have to define selection criteria. In order to do so, click here on define criteria. And what Kadima then presents you are the individual key elements of your question that you have specified uh, before. And now you have to consider all the key elements and uh, specify specific selection criteria for each. So now we can do the population. We have to consider the intervention. Then the comparator, as well as um, the outcome. So in cases where you just do not want to um, be restricted to the key elements, or you do not just want to address a p-code type of question, but want to expand this concept, for example, by adding your study designs, so or meaning that you want to address a p-cost type of question, please go again to define criteria, go to further concepts, mention, for example, study design, and then you can uh, develop also selection criteria addressing which study designs are relevant for your question. So very importantly, when um, considering or developing the selection criteria, please consider inclusion criteria. Um, the reason for this is that um, um, that whatever um, criterion is related with no uh, throughout the screening process, this record is excluded from your review. Okay, so now um, going further, the review coordinator has to decide now if this list is finalized or not. Um, so it, now we say it's final. And then the review coordinator can decide if a consistency check should be performed within Kadima or if it should be skipped. Um, so, for sure, we highly recommend to do a consistency check uh, in order to measure the inter-review agreement. Um, for sure, in systematic reviews and systematic or evidence map, is, uh, uh, you're obliged to do so. Um, but also, if you consider other review approaches, uh, we highly recommend this consistency check, also in these cases. Right, to perform now the consistency check, click here on consistency check, go to the settings. Uh, and now the review coordinator first has to decide on the amount of records that should be included. So we say two, but again, uh, be aware that this is just for this tutorial. And when you're doing a real systematic review or a real review, please consider an adequate amount of records to be included in the consistency check in order to make sense out of it. Uh, Kadima allows for a maximum of, team, uh, of 10 team members to be included in this consistency check and now we select now two, click on save and now we can perform it. And what Kadima is doing that it takes uh, in a randomized way now two records out of the 100 and presents it to you and your team member who are involved uh, in order to be assessed. In order to rate them just click on the entry. Now on the right hand side you see the title and the abstract, on the left hand side you see your selection criteria 
And now we can, can rate them. You can either go through all of the selection criteria individually, or you could also say mark all with yes, unclear, no, or you could use a, uh, on your keyboard the Y key uh, in order to uh, rate everything with yes, the U would rate everything with unclear, and the N everything with no. Now we do the same for the second. In this case, we say it might not be relevant here. And we save it and go back. And so now we have rated all the criteria. So now I have to do the same for my teammate. And when everybody finished um, the job, uh, you can go to the results of the consistency check. And what Kadima does provide, it's um, a kappa value. In our case, it's zero, so for sure our sample size is much too small. Um, and you can also have a look at the individual results um, in order now to make the review coordinator decide if the criteria should be revised or if they should be confirmed. So in case that you would revise them, uh, you, you would uh, have the uh, capacity to, to change, lead, add criteria accordingly. Uh, but then for sure a new consistency check needs to be performed or you would confirm them and then you can apply them. In case that this decision uh, you just do not only want to base on a kappa value but want to yeah, uh, consider your own measure of inter-review agreement, uh, you can download the results of the consistency check as an Excel file, can do your measurement and then decide how to move on. So in our case we want to confirm the list. We click here on confirm criteria list. Then Kadima um, makes you aware that please be sure that these criteria are well formulated and are complete because when you now confirm your criteria um, and you start the, the selection process, you can't change them anymore. So really it's really important because you cannot then, uh, when you do the tight abstract screening, for example, and you realize that a criteria is missing, you cannot go back to it. Okay, when you did this, uh, you have to go to apply criteria. And now the review coordinator again has to make some decisions. First of all, uh, he or she has to decide if you want to apply the criteria and for title abstracts together, followed by the full text, or if you first want to consider title, second, then the abstract, followed by the full text. So we say we make it first to title abstract, and those who are past this stage also at full text level. Another thing the review coordinator now has to decide is um, he has to determine the level uh, for an independent and parallel assessment. So um, when you use the settings as they are uh, put uh, per default, it means that 100% of title abstract would receive one reviewer uh, judgment, meaning that absolutely no independent and parallel assessment would take place. If you want to do an independent and parallel assessment, change this number to two. And in this case, for example, 100% should receive two independent judgments, meaning that 100% would be rated independently and parallel by two review team members. The same uh, needs then to be done uh, for at full text level. In this case, we say, for example, 50% should be rated independently and in parallel. And then you can go to save options. And uh, the next thing that the review coordinator has to decide is if the data or the ratings that were already placed during the consistency check, if they should be adopted in order to prevent a doubling of work. And for sure we adopt them, adopt data. And very importantly, um, throughout the review process, these numbers here, so the, uh, the degree for an independent parallel assessment can be uh, changed uh, uh, without any problems throughout the the review procedure. What we also provide uh, is a sort by relevance function. So what you can do here is, is to specify specific, let's say, um, uh, keywords where you think that um, they determine uh, relevant from a not relevant uh, title abstract. You can specify them within Kadima and then Kadima looks at the frequency of these keywords and then provides you um, a prioritized list, let's say, where Title abstract where Kadima thinks that they might be um, relevant are put at the beginning, and those uh, title abstracts where Kadima thinks that they might be of lower relevance are put at the, the end of the list. Right, so now um, we go to the, the screening per se. So, in order to do the title abstract screening, go to the menu item title abstracts, and this is uh, 
how it looks like. So what you have is always a progress bar where the progress is determined, uh, so the overall progress, the progress with regard to the uh, independent parallel assessment and your contribution towards the overall progress. As a review coordinator, you can also always check the progress of the individual members. And uh, in case of necessary, you may intervene and say, please speed up a bit. Uh, but this is only possible for the review coordinator. <coughs> what Kadima is also doing that in case that uh, different ratings are provided um, by uh, the individual team members, uh, in case that independent parallel assessment was performed, this uh, inconsistencies are getting hi uh, highlighted automatically and are presented to the reviewers who caused these inconsistencies uh, and Kadima asked them to clarify them. In order to clarify them, please go to inconsistency ratings, then the record is presented where the inconsistency did occur. So if you remember, this was the record included in the consistency check. And um, you click on it, then you can cross-check the abstract and uh, you see the, the ratings of your team member, you see your ratings, and then you can change in case you were wrong, you can adapt your rating. And in order to track uh, the clearance of uh, uh, discrepancies or inconsistencies, you can leave here a comment, for example, change to yes, and these comments will be displayed later on when you download the documentation files uh, from Kadima. So like this, you track the clearance of inconsistencies, right? So now maybe a few words to the allocation me mechanism within Kadima. So in general, there are absolutely no restrictions with regard to the number of team members. Uh, who can participate in the um, selection process. And how Kadima allocates the, the record is um, that it first considers the time point uh, when the people work with the tool. And in the second step, it considers the, uh, the degree or the amount for an independent parallel assessment that was uh, specified um, uh, before. So in our case, we have 100% independent parallel assessment. And for example, is if reviewer number one now um, proceeds, he gets um, record number one. If reviewer two uh, steps in, um, he or she gets record number one as well. If now reviewer three uh, steps in, he or she gets record number two. If now reviewer one continues, uh, he or she gets record number two as well. So this is actually how Kadima allocates records to participating review team members. So now we proceed a bit. Um, again, we can see on the left-hand side the criteria, on the right-hand side the title and the abstract. So in this case, we now mark everything with yes in order to have a specific pool to be screened later on. And now I do the same with my team member. Yes, they have to be assessed independently and in parallel. Okay. And um, now we can actually, so if we assessed uh, some Tyler abstracts and want to move on to the full text stage, we can do so and go to full text screening. And if we now click here on start, Kadima tells um, me that it's not possible because we didn't specify any selection criteria. So in order to do so, we have to go back to criteria list and keywords. <coughs> and now we have to consider the full text stage. So we go to the tab full text, and now we have to develop selection criteria for full text screening as we did it for title abstract screening. So if we want to apply a uh, selection criteria that we have already specified at title abstract stage, we just click on add title abstract criteria. We mark those that we want to apply at full text stage as well. We can add criteria. So for example, if we want to be more specific about the outcome, we can do that. Also, in this case, if we want to consider a further concept like study design, etc., we can do this as we did it for title abstract screening by clicking on define criteria and further concept. Also here, now the review coordinator has at a certain point to decide if this list is finalized. We say yes, it's finalized. And also here, uh, the review coordinator has to decide if a consistency check should be performed at full text level or if it should be skipped. So we also in this case, we highly recommend to do a, a consistency check um, uh, in order to measure the inter-review agreement, uh, especially in the case for systematic reviews, etc., where it's mandatory. Um, 
And uh, but for the sake of um, of this tutorial and um, the sake of time, we click on here on skip consistency check because the consistency check very much resembles the one. So how you do it as you did it for uh, Tyler Abstract screen. So we say skip consistency check. Uh, if we skip it, Kalima makes us aware that we cannot change the selection criteria anymore. So we have to be sure that the selection criteria are formulated in an appropriate way. Right, now we go to the full text level. At the full text level, um, or in order to assess records at full text level, for sure we have to uh, make sure that they're uploaded to Kadima because it's much more easier if they are to rate them. And in order to do so, we have, let's say, multiple possibilities. So in order to upload records or PDFs, uh, click here on show records, upload search PDFs. And what you can see here now is our list of uh, title abstract that have or records that have passed title abstract screening. And you can now upload full text in various ways. So the first one would be that you click here on this arrow item and uh, that you browse for the PDF on your computer and you upload it individually. And uh, for sure this is not handy if you are dealing with hundreds or thousands, I don't know, of, of uh, full text to be checked. Alternatively, you can also upload PDFs in bulk. Um, so for example, what you could do is um, to export a list of uh, records that pass title abstract screening as a RIS file, you import it, for example, to EndNote, you search uh, with EndNote automatically for a full text, and then you um, upload the full text as a, uh, as a zip file back into Kadima, and then Kadima tries to allocate, um, you write the PDF to the correct database entry. So with EndNote and Citavi, it's working pretty well, but um, depending maybe on, on the PDF and also uh, it, the success rate, maybe to put it like this, may vary considerably. And um, alternatively, what we also now provide in Kadima is an automated PDF search. And what Kadima is then doing that it, uh, when you initiate it, that it's uh, trying to assess different sources via APIs and it's checking for, for open access full text in order to be directly imported into Kadima. Very importantly, just open access publications or PDFs are getting identified. So we initiated, then it started in the background. And uh, when Kadima has finalized the search, uh, the review coordinator is notified by email. Uh, and uh, in this email, so I will show you later on, there's also mentioned which PDF could be found and which one could not be found. Um, so we close it. Right, so with regard now how the selection process works at full text level, so it resembles very much the process um, as done at the abstract stage. So also the allocation mechanism is exactly the same. Uh, so it considers uh, when you work within Kadima and also considers the amount uh, you mentioned or determined, which should receive an independent and parallel assessment. Also with regard um, to the numbers or uh, yeah, so the number of review team members to be included, and there are absolutely no restrictions. And you can also then check, or the coordinator can check here, the, the progress of the individual team members. So if we now go back uh, to Kadima, we can see um, that it has identified one. And so we maybe just wait a few seconds more and, um, in order to give Kadima the time to finish it. Okay, so now we are getting um, the email. And I'll show you this in a second. And uh, so this is how it looks like. So we have the references, the records included, and Kadima tells you here in this case, there was no uh, DOI could be, could be found for these two things we we have it. Um, in this case, no PDF could be identified. Right. So now uh, for those uh, where we know that there are no PDFs available, we could go back to this list. And for example, in these cases, uh, we could leave a comment, for example, no PDF available. as well as in 
in case here. Okay. And these comments are then displayed later on um, during the screening process. So whenever sees uh, somebody, a reviewer sees a, a record to be rated and no PDF is allocated and he sees that his comment, then he knows that uh, uh, this record should be excluded because uh, we do not have access to it. Okay. So now we do the screening. Um, in the first case, there was no PDF available. And uh, we also have this comment here, no PDF available. Uh, and now we can, at full text stage, exclude records due to reasons other than the selection criteria. For example, in the case when no PDF is available. So in this case, we would uh, click on full text not available, right, as an exclusion reason in this case. And uh, we can exclude a a full text also if it's not accessible, meaning that it might be written in a, in a language um, that uh, nobody can read within the review team if it's a duplicate and also in case no primary data um, are presented. So in our case, we say we exclude it uh, because it's not available. And um, in this case, the full text is available. You can see it here now on the right-hand side. We can scroll through it. We can also uh, initiate uh, the text highlighting. And then Kalima highlights uh, the, the keywords that we specified before in the different uh, uh, colors. And uh, if this window is too small, we can also change um, yeah, so the window size to make it bigger. We can scroll through it. At the same time, we can uh, check the, uh, the selection criteria and rate it. So in our case, we say, OK, it might not be relevant. And uh, for sure, you can also then at the top enable the text highlighting. Save and next. At full text level, what's also possible is um, that you can skip um, um, a record for now. So in order to skip it, you would just click here on Save Next. And then Kadima would tell you not all criteria are rated. Do you want to skip assessing this reference? And you can click on say, OK, I do skip this. Um, of course, maybe um, yeah, I do not feel capable in, a, in assessing it. Or maybe it is written in a language I don't uh, speak, but I know that another Revit team member uh, uh, speaks this. So in this case, you just would click here on skip it. And then you are coming to the next um, full text record to be to be screened. Uh, but very important, if you go outside the browser and initiate again, for sure, this record, provided that it was not rated by another one in the meantime, is getting allocated to you again. Okay, so we say abort and back. So now um, I have to do the same uh, with my review team member. So I have to do some ratings uh, and title at full text level. And also at full text level, inconsistencies in the ratings are getting uh, notified by Kadima, are automatically identified and then presented to the reviewers who caused the inconsistencies in order to clarify them. So to clarify them, just click on inconsistency rating. Then the record is presented. Uh, you see the full text. If you go to show criteria, you see the ratings placed by your team member. You see your ratings. You can scroll through it. You can also enable, again, the text highlighting. And uh, then in case you were wrong, you can change your decision and can mark it again, changed to yes, in order to track the clearance of con inconsistencies also at full text level. And then you close it again. <coughs> Sorry. For sure, I have to click the finish box. <laughs> Change to yes. Click on finish. And then the inconsistencies are, are gone. OK. Right. Um, this is everything I want to say to full text screening. Um, now, uh, the next step would be select studies from papers. Um, because the unit um, you are working with in a systematic review is not the full text per se, but it's uh, the individual studies included in a review. But um, in order to, to show you how this is working, I would uh, refer to another tutorial on the data extraction, where I um, show you how you extract the relevant studies, how you do the data extraction, including the critical appraisal. 
Right, so this was it and uh, I hope to, to hear or see you uh, then in the next tutorial on data extraction and critical appraisal. Ciao.